I'm looking at the clock on my phone here. It tells me it is 10.01, one minute past the time Manchester City and Inter Milan were set to lock horns to determine which of the two will be crowned the Champions League winners at the Attack. Turk Stadium, I hope I got that right. Bernard will correct me if I didn't. It is a highly anticipated final between the English champions and their Italian rivals. Entries Bernard Ndong is in Istanbul. So update us on the atmosphere ahead of the kickoff. Where is he? All right. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I, oh, there yes. he is. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Bernard, I don't follow football and even I'm jealous. I'm seeing a bit of activity behind you. Are those fans? Where are you? What's happening? So, I'm um, specifically at, uh, it's called the Yeni Kapi Festival uh, here in Istanbul in Turkey. Uh, and it's just about two minutes into the final of the Champions League. Uh, I've been based here for the past uh, three days or so. Of course, just counting down to the big one. And what is fascinating is the fact that uh, where I am right now, there's a multitude of fans. Let me just give you an idea of how many there are. Just I'll elevate my, my, my device and you can just see how many people are here. So many people just having a look and having a feel of what is transpiring here. The Champions League. What is very fascinating is the fact that it's somewhat of a bit of bias because uh, it is largely Manchester City fans who are here. Uh, obviously, it's Manchester City versus Inter Milan. But earlier on in the day, uh, I went right here, this is where the trophy the Champions League has been based for the past about three days. And you can see the images on your screen right now. And that is at around 3.45 p.m. East African time, Turkish time, when the trophy was uh, delivered from here. This is the Elikapi Festival Park, all the way to the stadium, where the two teams will be battling out for the plaudits. Uh, Manchester City against Inter Milan. Manchester City are yet to win the Champions League. Inter Milan have won it three times in their history. And of course, the most recent time that they have won this particular trophy was in 2010 and I Jose Mourinho and Manchester City will be chasing that treble. Remember, they won the FA Cup, they won the English Premier League as well, and they are eyeing the big one, being the best in Europe. So that is an image. You can hear the fans cheering there, of course. Uh, that is a miss. Uh, this is an official Champions League viewing party, you would say. It's a festival, three-day festival. It began on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Fans had the opportunity to, to mingle with each other. Our fans were able to get a feel of what uh, the Champions League atmosphere is all about. Uh, I've, I've seen people from all around the world. I've even interacted with people from as far as Kazakhstan, people from Uganda, people from Tanzania, myself from Kenya, from to other South Sudanese as well. Now, let's just have a feel and, and take a listen into what some of the fans had to say. I managed to interview fans from Manchester City and fans from Inter Milan, previewing the clash that is currently underway. I think Manchester City kwa sababu wako wamejipanga vizuri sana uh, kitimu kuanzia timu uh, formula ya timu yao iko vizuri sana hata wachezaji wa Manchester City uh, wako viral sana tofauti na wachezaji wa Inter Milan so that nice Manchester City wako vizuri sana Inter Milan is very experienced team you know and uh, I think uh, it's going to be tough game but uh, these days it's like you know City is more uh, potentially you know, team bigger than, not by history, but uh, play, you know, by the strategy and uh, Pep Guardiola's tactics, so I think City's gonna win. Well, the lineup, I, I uh, think it is, uh, it would be uh, on goal, Onana, Bastoni, uh, and uh, Acerbi, and Darmia. Right side, uh, Dumfries, left side, Di Marco, most probably, Hakan, uh, Brozovic, and uh, Barilla. Now the attack, it could be Lukaku or Dzeko, but I think uh, Inzaghi would start with uh, Dzeko and Lautaro and he would keep Lukaku for the second half. For my predictions, I hope Inter, but uh, as you know, uh, everybody knows, uh, Man City is the strongest team now in this year. I am a huge fan of um, Premier League and Man City, but tonight uh, Inter in Hakan Chabon, we are national player team because we are supporter Inter. <laughs> 